this one thing may be holding you back from being successful in life. Zechariah 4 and 10 says, do not despise humble beginnings for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And many of us were so busy chasing the big win that we miss out on the small wins along the way. What do I mean by that? Well, I was blessed enough at my freshman year of college to go into college with $25,000 worth of scholarships. And one of the things that I was shocked to find out on my journey to winning these scholarships was, uh, now I did have a big $16,000 scholarship, but many of them were a thousand here, 4,000 here and 500 here. And what I came to realize is everybody was so obsessed with winning the big one that some of the smaller ones went unclaimed. Some of the smaller ones I won just because I showed up. And what I came to tell somebody is some of the, the small insignificant wins in life are going to lead to your biggest wins. I remember going and speaking at an event one time and not that many people showed up. But one person that did show up was someone that booked me for my next opportunity. And that opportunity turned into another opportunity, turned to another opportunity. So don't despise humble beginnings. Show up even when the crowds are small. Show up even when your live doesn't have that many people on it. Show up even when you seems like you get online and you're talking to yourself. Show up in your industry. Show up in your family. Show up when you think it counts. Show up when you don't think it counts because you, in reality, you don't know the one day that you don't show up. The one person in the crowd that you think is insignificant, that might be the one person you need for your breakthrough. That might be the one day that it had you not shown up, you would have missed out on your biggest blessing.